Ladies and gentlemen, happy days. Apparently the ANC is about to be liquidated. What do you think of this, Shimon? Yeah, it is true, my friends. The ANC has basically lost every single court case relating to some company that made posters for it in 2019. That company has not been paid yet because the ANC says the directions and orders for those posters were unlawful. All the courts have disagreed with the ANC and even the Supreme Court of Appeal, the ANC did not actually put their papers through. So therefore there was a default judgment against them. So the court has said that the sheriff should attach the Thule House to basically pay off the debt of the ANC. So yes, my friends, the ANC is bankrupt and is going to be liquidated. And hopefully, maybe by the time this video is released, the Sheriff of the High Court will be attaching the Thule House to sell. So now, Byron and I have been speaking about this for a while. What would you do with the Thule House, Byron? Because we do know that at Sheriff's Auctions, any price goes. We can maybe buy it for like five rand and, you know, a cup of morning shot coffee. So my idea is that the DA should buy Latuli House immediately and basically find the minutes of the cater deployment meetings that they've been looking for for the last, I don't know how many years, takes the armed cash that the ANT have had in Latuli House for like 30 years and basically set up the DA headquarters right in the middle of Joburg. You know, the building where they protested against like only a few weeks ago, now they can own it at the sheriff's auction that is a good move for the da yeah so it's important to actually understand how we actually got to the situation ladies and gentlemen and that is ramon you originally did a video of this in 2019 i think 2020 what it actually came about the the purpose of the video was basically to plead with the people that were there to like really push this as far forward as you can you may recall that you actually pleaded and said if you want to be a true patriot bankrupt the anc and i think they must have heard you because they did. Now, what originally happened is that in typical fashion, the ANC got their judgment. They were like, hey, guys, you need to pay back the money. The ANC didn't pay back the money. So what happened is it got escalated to go to enforcement. And at the point of enforcement, the ANC said, ah, if we don't actually agree with this debt, let's appeal it. And so they applied for leave to appeal. And leave to appeal was granted on the basis that they had to submit their paperwork by a certain day. Now, we all know from all of the ANC's bullcrap, and we see what they do on a daily basis in terms of regulations and various other court challenges. They never file the paperwork. And as a result, they usually lose their case, not through merits, but because they just can't be bothered to file the paperwork. And that's what actually happened in this instance. They didn't file the paperwork. And so the judge was like, okay, well, I have to rule in their favor because you didn't file the paperwork. So you lost your case. So pay up, guys. Now it's important to recognize that there is nowhere else to appeal to. This was the Supreme Court. The only other option would be going to the Constitutional Court. There's no constitutional issues at play here. What are they going to say? Well, we can't liquidate Latuli House. Well, actually, you can. But technically speaking, it's a privately owned entity, which means that it now goes before auction and the rules of auction apply. So somebody's going to have to buy the bloody thing. So who's going to buy it? And my suggestion is, I suggest that Afri Forum buy it and then maybe create a Bura type museum where they celebrate Afrikaans cultural heritage and maybe Afrikaans history. Like, hey, that would be great. No, I disagree with you. I, well, I think Africa Forum should buy it, but they should demolish the entire building and build Fort Trekka Monument 2.0 right in the middle of Joburg with like dates of like De La Rey and Paul Kruger and whoever else, I don't know, whoever else, Andres Pochita, all, all the great Boer generals that sort of beat the British uh, at the time. I think that would be a great idea. Imagine having the Fort Trekka Monument that will lead to increased tourism in Joburg CBD. Uh, it will ensure that it's clean and there's a like, historical heritage in, in the Joburg CBD as well. And basically, once you've bomb the Tuli house through demolition and you film it and you destroy the legacy of the ANT completely on the ashes and the blood of the ANT patriots who remained in the building when it was bombed you build a Fort Drake monument I think that's a fitting end to the ANC in sort of South African history don't you think? Yeah you know what else you could do you could bomb the place and basically put up a big huge cross and under the cross you could have Buddha lives matter ah uh, ah uh, you know what I would do if I was there I'd set up maybe a, uh, I'd bomb Latuli House, we could destroy it, and then we could set up a museum to, to communist atrocities around the world. And the first, and the first exhibition would be the ANC. That's a good idea. Actually, we can create a monument to the people's war where the ANC necklace to kill 20,000 Zulus over the course of 20 years. You know, they're part of history that everyone seems to have forgotten about that happened in the 80s and the 90s. That could be quite a good use of it because, you know, like in every sort of Holocaust museum around the world, they bring train tracks from Auschwitz and things like that to represent what happened there. So we could use like sort of Latuli House as the skin of the museum to commemorate the victims of communism around the world. I think it's a wonderful idea. We should do that. Yeah, we wouldn't even have to spend that much money on it because it already looks like a shithole. And so they could be like, this is what communism does to you, folks. Look at the brilliance of this building. And people would walk in and go, look, this is grim, isn't it? It's like, yeah, proper communist building, huh? Nice, isn't it? You know what else you could do? 
thinking about it. This is what I would suggest, and I would highly suggest that maybe the coalition parties think about that. You could rebrand the Thule House, Moonshine House, and then every member of the Moonshot Pact gets to go in there and have like coffee bars and maybe a place they can drink and, you know, just hang out, discos and partying. And it is only for members of the Moonshot Pact, which means the ANC and the EFF are automatically excluded. That'd be great, mate. That'd be great. But I mean, really, if the DA was really smart, they would buy the building, rename it Zilla House, and basically do all the content for the DA from there. Every press conference, every TikTok, every vlog says, welcome to Zilla House. And every time a piece of content is released, they just mash the ANC's head in because it's been renamed to Zilla House. The way the ANC renames all the roads, you know, around the country to like some names no one can really understand or pronounce, we should do the same to the Tuli House. Call it something completely foreign to their native language. Like Zilla House is probably good because they keep saying Zile, it's actually Zilla. And we can correct them in real time from Zilla House. Yeah, we can use the exact same logic that they apply when we mispronounce some of their names and they go, hey, you're racist. Can't you say the name properly? It's Zile, right? <laughs> so good. We, we could have great fun with that. But actually, I still think the monuments to the Buddha mentality, I, th I think the Buddha people, that could be great. And actually applying your logic, I think we should rename it maybe Van Riebeck House. A monument to Jan van Riebeck since 1652. That's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Van Rubik House, yes. Well, no matter what they do with the Latuli House, at least we can assure ourselves of one thing. At the end of the day, Loot Freely House looted so much that actually they even loot their own moolah to pay their own bills. And as a result, the ANC bankrupted itself into oblivion. When you steal your own cash, you know what they always say to drug dealers, right? You should never sample your own product. Maybe the ANC really should have learnt, learnt that. Don't sample your own product. You go bust. And Jonathan Hazen and Helen Zilla, if you are watching this, please make this happen. We'll set up crowdfunding, you know, campaigns for the DA to buy Lutuli House and set a monument up to Helen Zilla and Jan van Riebeck together. I think it would be a wonderful idea. So call us. Uh, let's make it happen.